There are five apps that have been extremely helpful for me as a medical student. And actually more than just helpful, these tools have been absolutely necessary for me and I actually use many of them multiple times a day. With students spending so much time on computers, iPads, or cell phones, we should be finding out ways that we can use these resources to help us be successful in medical school. Things that help us with organization, study tools, a place to keep track of our notes, and just resources that keep us up to date with the ever-changing field of medicine. Technology has made this easier than ever, and in this video I'm going to be discussing the five apps that I absolutely love and more or less need to be successful in medical school. What's up YouTube? If you're new here, my name is J.R. Smith and I am a medical student at the Mayo Clinic. So I depend on a handful of apps for essentially everything from organizing my schoolwork as well as this YouTube channel and my podcast to studying and reviewing notes. Now one thing that's been extremely beneficial is having a single platform that connects all of my devices so that I can access all of these apps whether I'm on my computer, on my iPad, or even on my phone. So for my Apple users out there, I'm proud of you. And for everybody else, you're okay too. <laughs> no, I'm playing, kind of. But regardless of what platform you use, when you have a central hub, you never have to worry about not having access to something when you need it, and it just really helps keep everything organized. But let's get straight into these apps. The first one is Notion, which is an all-in-one workspace, and that is exactly how I use it. I've made a video in the past going through how I use this app in detail because I essentially use it for everything, both medicine and non-medicine related. And I'm probably going to make an updated version of that video just so that I can really do this app justice. For medical school specifically, I use it to keep track of my class assignments and any research projects that I'm involved in. Notion is essentially an organizational tool that uses either pre-made or custom templates to essentially keep track of everything. I actually start my morning every day on Notion where I journal and I write my to-do list for that day. And I've created templates for either research projects or assignments so I can keep track of everything that I need to do. So when I get involved in a research project, for example, I have a place where I can go and write things down like the purpose of the study, what my responsibilities will be, and just have a space where I can jot down notes or any ideas that I have. I have a similar page set up for any assignments that I have and having everything organized in this way really helps me complete projects and assignments in a more efficient and effective way, which you know is crucial for success in medical school. This is the most brief review of this app and because it's such an all-encompassing tool, I would need an entire video to really go into the details of how I use this tool, which is why I've already done that in a past video and will probably be doing that again in a future video. But if this app sounds like something you'd be interested in, it doesn't hurt to download it and just play around with the templates that they already have built in. It's pretty user friendly and I have no doubt that you'd be able to integrate it for whatever you need. And what's nice is that this tool can again be used from my laptop to my iPad or even my phone. So I can write down my to-do list in the morning on my laptop and then later in the day I can pull out my phone and check my progress. Now the second app that I love is Notability. Notability is a note-taking app and it is incredible for students using tablets like the iPad. For students who enjoy taking notes and plan to use the iPad as their primary note-taking tool, I think Notability is the best app for you. Now this is a paid app and it usually costs around $9, but they often have deals running where you can actually get it for as low as $3 to $4. So if it's something that you're interested in and you want to pay a cheaper price for it, I would just be on the lookout for when they're running some of these deals. Now paid apps usually have a bad rap, especially for students. But to put it in perspective, going shopping for the traditional note-taking and organizing tools like binders, notebooks, pens, pencils, highlighters, and more colored pencils than a middle school art class can end up costing well over $100. So an app that replaces all of this for under $10 may suddenly not seem so bad. Many students like to download the PowerPoint slides that are going to be presented in lecture, and then when they're going through lecture, they can take notes directly on the PowerPoint slides as they're being presented them. Now for me, some of you may already know that I am not the biggest note taker, especially during class, but one thing I do like doing is downloading review slides in preparation for my exams, and then I work through those on my iPad. And having all these review slides and lectures in a centralized place makes it all that much easier when you're reviewing them. I never have to worry about things getting lost or taking up tons of my desk space with binders or papers, and it's so easy to find exactly what I'm looking for. I can search for both specific files or specific topics within certain files. It's almost impossible to find specific notes when you take them in a traditional way. And for some people, you may have systems in place where you can locate specific notes relatively easily, but that wasn't the case for me, which is probably why I never went back to actually review the notes that I took. 
But with tools like Notability, I can actually find and review specific topics, specific PowerPoint slides, specific notes efficiently and effectively. The third tool I use is arguably the most important for me. And it's probably not arguably, it is the most important tool that I use. Most of you guys know where I'm going with this. The tool is Anki and it is what I built the foundation of all of my studying around. It utilizes space repetition, which has been identified as the best way to learn. And it's how I keep up with the material in my current course, as well as the material from previous courses as I prepare for my board exams. It presents material in the form of flashcards. And the best part is since it's such a widely used tool in medical school, there's already pre-made decks of cards that other students have already made and shared that have all the material you'll need to do well in your courses, as well as your board exams. Now Anki does have a bit of a learning curve and that alone drives some students away from it. And other students may not set it up correctly or just may not use the best settings. But I think if you get it set up correctly and have a baseline understanding on how to use it, Anki can really be the most effective study tool for you to use in medical school. And just like Notion, because this app has so much to it, I'll be making a separate video where I walk through how I set up and use Anki so that you can bypass this steep learning curve. And what's nice is that this tool also crosses every platform that I have so I can use it on my computer, my iPad, or my phone. The desktop and the Android versions of this app are completely free, but the iOS version for the iPad and the iPhone does cost $25. And now I'm feeling all of the Android users laughing at me through the screen. For my Apple folks, this is pretty pricey if you'd like to have access to this tool remotely, but this is probably the single most used school related app that I have. And in my opinion, it's completely worth the cost. Now, the fourth app that I absolutely love is Med Izzy, who are kindly sponsoring today's video. Med Izzy is a social media-like platform specifically for the medical community where healthcare professionals can learn from and engage with each other. They also have high yield question banks geared towards specific topics. And y'all know y'all can never have too many practice questions. Nowadays, we're on social media probably more than we'd like to admit, but with Med Izzy, you can let social media actually play a direct role in your medical understanding and knowledge. You can ask questions, join in on discussions, or teach others all within this single app. Because medicine is a field where success stems from collaboration, getting involved in this early through tools like MedIzzy isn't just good for you, but it's good for the field of medicine as a whole. MedIzzy is also one of the fastest growing medical learning communities. And with healthcare professionals from all across the world using it to share information, it's one of the best tools that you can use to stay up to date in this ever changing field. And this brings me to the last app that I wanna mention, which is up to date. UpToDate is a tool that provides the latest evidence-based clinical guidance for everything that you'll see, whether it's in the classroom or the clinic. When you're faced with a specific case, whether that be an assignment in class or a real patient in the clinic, UpToDate will provide you with a concise overview of the suspected disease process, as well as a list of differentials you may wanna consider. UpToDate is actually one of the most widely used tools for practicing clinicians. And this is primarily because it's the only evidence-based resource associated with improved outcomes. There have been more than 100 independent research studies showing that using up-to-date improves patient outcomes and hospital performance. As you progress throughout your medical training, you are sure to run into this app at some point, and I think it's best to become familiar with it as early as you can. It also helps you start to think like a doctor, working through a list of possible differentials, understanding the pathophysiology of a given disease, and then knowing the preferred ways of treating that pathology. This resource has been a critical tool in the decision-making process for clinicians, and I think it can be just as influential for students. Now, this resource does require a subscription, but many schools and institutions provide it freely for their students and their staffs, so I recommend reaching out to your school before purchasing a subscription yourself. But that's it for this video. Those are the five apps that I found have been the most helpful for me as a medical student. Notion, Notability, Anki, MedIzzy, and UpToDate. Let me know what apps you find most helpful for you in the comments below so that we can continue to share knowledge with each other because the more we share as a community, the more we'll grow as a community. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you also enjoy these recommended apps. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and if you haven't yet, consider subscribing so you don't miss any future videos videos like an Anki tutorial or a full Notion review. But until then, keep evolving and I'll see you guys in the next one.